This is probably going to be one of the weirdest videos I have ever filmed in my life because it's still difficult to believe that this is even actually real. What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and today we're talking about the KFC gaming console. <sighs> well, let's get into it. So a couple days ago on Twitter, there was this video that randomly appeared showing what seemed to be some sort of mysterious device, labeled here as the console wars are over, introducing the KFC console. Now, the idea of some Kentucky Fried Gaming is understandably shocking, but to be perfectly honest, after I saw this little teaser and saw the fact that it keeps your chicken warm, I genuinely thought this was a joke. After I saw this little Twitter meme, I kind of just walked away from the computer, went back to playing classic Final Fantasy, and practically forgot this exists. But so many subscribers have asked me to look into this. So last night, I really did. I decided to look into the fact that the KFC Gaming Console is a literal machine that we're going to be able to purchase, but the thing that kind of has me shocked is that it seems like this is going to have some pretty insane graphics. Oh my gosh. Now before we even get into this, I do want to say I'm not particularly surprised that some company is deciding to do this. Video games is now the biggest entertainment platform on the planet. Like straight up, we make more money than music, movies, books of course. I mean, video games are massive and these old school boomer companies now want to try and find a way to maximize that profit. They want to see if they can get those clicks and get those gamer dollars, right? I mean, they've been doing this for years. There's things like sneaking. Do you remember the Burger King video games? Because I sure do. They suck, they're practically cell phone games on consoles, but they existed. What baffles me about this is the strength of this system itself. Here we go, introducing the KF console, power your hunger. The KF console has arrived, forged from the fires of KFC ovens and built by Cooler Master from the ground up, there has never been a tastier way to experience the latest titles running at 4K 240 frames a second. Okay, so this, let's just run through this. I'm still just so baffled by this part specifically. The world's first built-in chicken chamber. Never risk letting your chicken go cold again thanks to the patented chicken chamber. Utilizing the system's natural heat and airflow system, you can now focus on your gameplay and enjoy hot, crispy chicken between rounds. So there's basically a drawer in the middle of the console that's going to keep your chicken warm. Now let me just say this, most people probably don't know this, I haven't had chicken in I think 15 years, maybe just 12 years, I have not had chicken in over 10 years easily, over a decade since I've tasted chicken. This seems like such a baffling thing, but even I am kind of amused by it. I kind of like the idea of putting my hot pockets or something in there and just keeping them cooled. But here we go, built and designed by Cooler Master. At Cooler Master, we're wired different. We go way beyond the outside of the box and deliver cutting edge performance with a touch of class. Our expert mod team, led by the legendary Swedish craftsman Time Play, set about the building this awesome beast and boy did he deliver. This is so baffling. I do want to make it a note here that this doesn't cook your chicken. It just keeps it warm. I don't know why anybody would even try and cook chicken inside of a computer. Now let's get to the part that I think is going to make this system surprisingly expensive. I, I can't believe I'm taking this seriously. Why am I? It's literally like the day after Christmas and I'm sitting here trying to critically analyze a Kentucky Fried Chicken console. <laughs> oh my god, my dad is going to click this video and be like, Max, what are you doing with your life? Okay. Only the best. Housed in a custom cooler NC100 chassis, we need something small but mighty, and that's just what we got. At the heart of this beast of a machine is the Intel Nuke 9 Extreme Compute Element, keeping space down and driving performance that mere mortals could only dream of. Never miss a shot. Okay, so here we go, an Asus Super Freaking Graphics Card. Discover a level of gameplay you didn't know possible with Asus powered graphics that runs buttery smooth, keeping tearing and frame uh, train drops a thing of the past. With a first of its kind sweeping GPU slot, the KFC console will stay the most powerful console for generations to come. Okay, so this is the weird part. I kinda want to try and buy the KFC console, 
and stream off of it. I think it would be funny to try and be the world's first chicken gamer. I mean, I could actually stream from it, play some, like, PUBG or something, and simultaneously heat up my meal. Like, uh, okay, now here's the last thing. Never run out of space for games. Unleash the performance of PCI's NVMe speeds that are six times faster. Boot up games in seconds and instantly access data while loading games. Basically, Seagate SSDs. These are super powerful, super good. This is insane to me. Now, here's the final thing. It's your sum up. It's VR ready. It's got ray tracing, so it's going to be having super insane graphics. And of course, 240 frames a second, 240 hertz. I'm not sure how much this is a meme. Like, if this console is actually real, if they really try and plan on having pre-orders and stuff for this system, I believe that this might cost a couple thousand dollars. Just looking at these specifications, which are still kind of loosey-goosey, I think that this might be a very expensive collector's item by the end of it. It's very difficult for me to believe that this thing is really going to turn into something that's going to be mass-produced but I kind of want to try and get it. This is obviously a publicity stunt. There were actually rumors of this months ago, back when the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X talk really began heating up. KFC was also like, yeah, bro, we're totally stepping into the ring, but I never could have imagined that it would turn into something like this. Will they actually produce it? Perhaps what I'm most curious about is if they even make 50 of these. Is this something that's just going to be made and shipped to people like Dr. Disrespect and PewDiePie? Or do they plan on sending these to stores? Are they going to let us buy them online? Is this going to be some sort of prize pool? Am I going to have to actually purchase KFC chicken in order to win the KFC gaming console? It's funny to me because already people are talking about wanting to game on it. Like, one of the top search results when I was trying to research this was KFC Gaming Console Games. You guys are absolutely out of your minds. But let's make a deal. I'm going to make you just a promise right now. Somehow, if this video gets like 10,000 likes before this console comes out, I'll buy it. I'll try and buy it. I'll try and stream it. Maybe I'll make a KFC Gaming Console review. And uh, it'll definitely be the weirdest thing I've ever produced. But that's just been some thoughts of mine. Everybody who asked me to make this video, I don't know what you wanted out of it. This has been a very strange morning. But thank you so much for watching, gamers. Please enjoy your day, enjoy your holidays, and please keep dreaming. Oh, actually, this is a total offside, but... I finally got my Grandia collection from Limited Run Games. Some of you guys may not know this, but I'm completely obsessed with Grandia. The fact that we can get these games that still have instruction booklets, it's got a reversible cover of the original Grandia. Look, I'm not a fanboy, I'm not a shill, I'm not trying to sell freaking limited run games, but boy howdy do I love Grandia, and I think that this is a pretty freaking awesome little collection. Go play Grandia. Seriously, go download and play Grandia. You won't regret it. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.